Someone posted that Apple is now worth almost $2 trillion as a company. Now you would think, Who's buying phones in a pandemic? What, you know, they sell all this expensive stuff. There's, you know, they're basically a one item company, although they do have now digital services that are starting to grow. There are some very serious reasons for why the market is climbing the way it is. There's been a debasement of the dollar. Like when you give out all this money, now the people who get it, who are individuals, are probably using it for rent or for expenses. But when rich people get it or rich companies get it, that just inflates asset prices. That makes things more expensive, you know, in terms of stocks, acquisitions and bonds, all, all this stuff. The, the entire market just gets flooded with cash and people just start buying and bidding stuff up. Uh, homes get inflated in value. Because it takes more and more money to buy these things, the actual dollars are decreasing. And so um, the place where you are going to see that most is internationally because assets compete in a global setting, right? So if one country starts printing a bunch of money and debasing it, you're gonna invest in places where there's less debasement. So you might go to Europe or you might go to you know South America, which I'm not sure this is a great idea either. Of course, these currencies float against each other. So if they're debasing too, then we can you know ride that thing down together. And there's also lack of good investment options. There's not that many great new companies that are being started. Not enough for all the cash that's floating around. It has to go somewhere. So a lot of it is just going to inflate these stock prices. And there's also been a lot of speculative trading. There's a bunch of kids day trading. They're not investing. They're just gambling online. That speculative trading is driving prices. Prices. There's also big bet on this virtual life that we have because the companies that are outperforming are all digital companies. That's why Apple is worth almost $2 trillion because they're providing you tools and services that are the portal to not leaving the couch which is what you know, a lot of people seem to think is going to happen when uh, not a lot of people are going into office buildings.